time for a look inside my life. Hey everyone, what's happening? And today, we're going over a question that a viewer asked in my comment section, and it was off topic. But what distro or distros do you primarily use? Well, I did answer that in the reply. However, we are going to go a little bit more in depth on how Alan uses Linux. So let's go ahead, let's jump over to my mainline PC and we will show you my desktop. So here I am on my desktop and as you see, I am using Debian and it says bullseye slash SID. Well, I'm using Debian SID, which is a rolling release. And instead of using uh, the 4.19 LTS kernel, I actually have swapped it out for the Liquorix kernel. So that is the way I choose to uh, run my custom kernel. And of course, I'm using GNOME. 3.34.2, which is the latest known as far as I know. And uh, this is my basic layout that I have. I put a dash to dock down here. I put my most commonly used tools and applications down here. Of course, I've got uh, Firefox, Thunderbird, Double Commander, and that's a file browser. As a matter of fact, I'll be going over that soon. Um, LibreOffice. Uh, GNU, uh, that would be GIMP. Um, Cheese for my webcam and applications. Of course, OBS. Uh, OpenShot Video Editor. That's the video editor I prim primarily use, excuse me. And of course, Roku Screen, which is what I'm recording with now. And um, as you notice, that uh, menu option bucket uh, button is missing. I uh, actually hide that. And I opt for an application type launcher up here. And of course we've got all kinds of applications here. And of course I've got Steam installed. I've got, a, there's my office. Adam is my main text editor. Of course, I've got more than one video editor installed. I've got Caden Live and Olive also installed in case I want to use something else. Um, but this is basically how I have my desktop show, uh, set up. Now, this dock is actually pretty neat how it's set up. I can actually go ahead and uh, hit the Windows key and the position on the dock it is. So let's go ahead, let's uh, bring up, let's say, Double Commander. I press Windows 3 or the Super 3. And there's my file manager, Double Commander. Or if I want to bring up, uh, let's say, GIMP, it'd be Super 5. And it'll bring up GIMP for my image editing, for my thumbnails, etc. That's really nice as well. Now, um, now I can just go ahead and press Super Shift S and it's going to bring up my settings. That is one I set. And of course I've got some set, uh, some um, custom shortcuts here. Now this is a fresh install so I don't have everything set up exactly the way I want it but this is basically how I run my particular desktop. Most of this is actually default. So I really hardly ever change the default key bindings. I just add key bindings for my pro or for my uh, most used applications. Now, um, of course, this is Debian SID, so it's rolling release, so it's on the bleeding edge. And this is basically how I have my desktop set up. Now. Um, I like the dock down here, but there are so many ways you can configure GNOME. It's actually quite interesting how you can configure GNOME. Now, the no way I normally uh, bring up an application if I'm doing something is I'll press Windows right here, or Super. 
key as it's called in Linux and I'll just type in something let's just say I want to bring up let's just say Steam and of course it'll bring up Steam right there I'm not going to bring it up but because that'll take a second to load but this is basically it I mean yeah, it's nothing too too fancy um, I uh, actually custom theme my gnome so that's basically it now uh, if you have any specific questions on how I run my uh, Debian SID uh, go ahead and give leave me a comment in the comment section below now that was a real small small look into how I like to use Debian now I could go into a whole lot of detail on how I use GNOME and configure GNOME but I already have a video that I did on that. I'm going to go ahead and link that right up here and let you go ahead and watch that if you need to, to uh, watch that. And that is about all I have for you today. Um, feel free to go ahead and give the video a thumbs up if you like it. If you didn't, there's a thumbs down button. And I'll go ahead and comment in the section below as well. And go ahead and click the subscribe button. And I will see you next time. If you like my content and wish to support my work, you can do so on Patreon. The link is in the description. Also, if you wish to see more, check out the videos on your screen.